hey guys i hope you're all doing great i'm doing this video basically to upgrade uh, two main components in my cr10s pro version one this can also be done on a version two so basically i'm going to change my stock hot end to a microsys hot end and i'm also going to remove the stock capricorn tube and replace it with a new tube that i bought it's not a different brand it's the same brand it's just that i need to replace the old tube because my current stock tube has been completely worn out and the filament is getting stuck while it, it is pretty difficult and I'm having extrusion problems basically so that's the reason why I'm changing the Capricorn tubing alright so let's go ahead and start alright guys so what I've done here is basically I've just removed the two small screws which is holding the fan cover so once you remove the fan cover it is pretty much easy to just tuck it to the right side you need to remove the two long screws which is holding the heat sink Guys, one thing you need to be really careful about over here is that you really need to take extra caution while dealing with the heat cartridge. So I'm going to replace this stock hot end with a micro Swiss. I also have a micro Swiss hot end which I need to replace for my CR10S, but for now I'm just going to do for the CR10S Pro. So guys, at a quick glance, you'll find the contents of this box on the right side bottom of the video. And on the left side, it's a fully assembled hot end uh, with the names of the items. This is the silicon sock and then comes the aluminium cooling block. You'll also find a card here inside the box which includes a QR code. And once you scan, it, it's directly going to take you to the, the support page and it will be showing you the step-by-step -step installation instructions. As you can see here in this small packet, you'll find an allen key, a spanner, two screws which is basically for the aluminium cooling block two red collet clips and one burden collet two club screws as well in the next pack you'll find a 0.4 mm nozzle which is a brass plate that we are resistant mk8 nozzle and then in the next pack you'll find uh, the heat block or the aluminium heat block and then in the next pack you find the aluminium heat sink Another important area is the thermistor, you need to be really careful while removing that. Yes, I know it's pretty much dirty, but end of the day, I'm just going to replace the whole thing. So on the left here, you can see there's a small grub screw, so you need to remove that in order to remove the heat cartridge. The packet that contains the aluminium cooling block also contains the titanium heat break. You need to insert the titanium heat break into the aluminium cooling block and then use the grub screw that came along with it to tighten it up. Considering the size of the grub screw, it's pretty easy to lose. So you could either do it my way by putting the grub screw on the allen key and then insert it into the aluminium cooling block. Once that is done, you remove the grub screw from the old heat block and remove the heatsink and the thermistor. Place the heat cartridge and the thermistor into the new aluminium heat block and take extra care while putting the screw back into the thermistor which, which actually holds the thermistor. Do not tighten it too much. You should tighten it but you should not tighten it too much. Then insert the brass plated wear resistant 0.4 mm MK8 nozzle. Just tighten it with your hand. You don't have to over tighten it as of now. Switch on your 3D printer and make sure that you preheat your nozzle and depending on what filament you're going to use. So I'm using PLA here so I put the temperature to around 200 degree and once the temperature is at 200 degree you just tighten the nozzle a bit more but not too much, a bit more and you need to turn it to the anti-clockwise direction. So that's all for the Microsys hot end part. Now I'm going to change the Capricorn tubing. As you can see, uh, it's been worn out real bad and thereby causing me extrusion issues. So I decided to go ahead and get a two meter Capricorn tubing. So I'm pretty happy with this kit that came along with the Capricorn tubing. It comes along with three silicon socks, three brass nozzles and a PTFE tube cutter. Now this is one amazing device. With the PTFE tube cutter, this is perfect. It just cuts it straight on. It's perfect. Once that is done, just insert one end of the Capricorn tube into the aluminium heat sink. The black board and collet which came along with the microscope is already inserted over there. And the other end goes towards the extruder. 
Normally in a stop Capricorn tube, you might find two pneumatic connectors, one to be connected to the extruder and the other to be connected to the stop heatsink. But once you change to the micro switch, you will just need one, the one that goes into the extruder. Once both the ends of the Capricorn tube are inserted properly, you need to use a coil clips to lock the tube in place. The stop printer comes with the blue one and the micro switch comes with the red one. Once that is done, place the fan cover back in its place and screw them in. Make sure that it is firm and not wobbly. As you can see that the filament is perfectly coming out of the nozzle, no problems whatsoever. It's really great. Yeah, so this is something that I went through while upgrading. The duct which is connected the fan to blow air to the prints, it just broke off. So I basically continued the installation without uh, putting the duct back into it because once it's ready I need to print a fan duct first.